All right, so we're gonna move on and we're gonna create our standard black and white for this soft portrait look. Now we previously recommended that whenever you guys are creating presets, either base it off of the standard import preset or choose the preset that gets you closest to where you're trying to go with a new preset, okay? So we're trying to get to a, a soft portrait look but just have it be black and white. So we're selecting the standard color and we're gonna make this super simple. All we're gonna do is we're gonna hit V to convert this to black and white. And then we're gonna go over to our contrast and we're gonna add 25 contrast because typically with black and whites, I like to have a little bit of extra contrast. You can use a little bit of extra contrast in those shots. All right, there's just something about the black and white that lends itself to being very punchy. All right, so that's great right there. We're gonna leave everything else where it's at because it's already dialed in to our soft portrait settings. We're just changing the, the toning of the image. All right, so here we go. We're gonna add this as a new preset. We're gonna change this to 12 standard black and white. Once again, you're going to select all and then we're going to deselect lens profile, transform and chromatic aberration since they're built into the standard import presets. We're going to hit create at this point and there we go. We have our standard black and white preset created and here is the standard color. Here is our standard black and white. All right, now I want to do a quick comparison just to show you guys. We're going to take this image. We're going to hit control apostrophe or command apostrophe on a Mac just to create a virtual copy. I'm going to hit control shift R, command shift R on a Mac, and then we're going to hit V to convert this to a black and white. Now, obviously, we've done a lot to this image, uh, you know, other than just uh, converting it to black and white. This is the reset image just using Lightroom's black and white conversion. But what I'm trying to say is basically whenever you guys are creating black and whites, don't just rely on Lightroom's black and white conversion. Look at how much better our black and white looks by using our black and white preset where we've kind of dialed everything in. Always use your presets for black and white conversion. You'll get that much closer to where you need to be for your final image. And from here, all we gotta do is just dial in our exposure by 0.2 to get it up to the right exposure. All right guys, so don't use the built-in conversion. Ours is much better. We have set up our standard black and white for our soft portrait look. And we're done with our soft portrait presets that we're going to set up. And now we're going to go on to the next video where we're going to set up our vivid landscape presets.